Hey guys, it's your boy GC. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the SFM channel. Thank you subscribers. I am loving you guys. I'm getting some good response. Thank you for that. I will keep up pushing new videos. I will, yeah, you know, we're gonna explore. We're gonna see how far we can get. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you five situations with women. Could be girlfriend, dating situations, whatever, where these situations might occur. I'm gonna try to give you advice in the situation. I'm gonna do a little bit of acting. We're gonna try something different. And then I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with it and how we how, how you should deal with it, how you should respond, how you should how you should solve it. Yeah? So let's go. So the first one you need to be careful for is the woman who are really gonna announce they're gonna suck your dick. So it could be something like, honey. They're not really announcing it, right? They're more like touching you, and then they start looking at your dick and they're gonna try to. But actually they're saying like, honey. It's time to suck your dick. They're actually saying that, so we're gonna keep it short. And then, you need to respond, but because most guys are like, yeah, suck my dick, it's time to get sucked. That's not how you should respond. You should respond like, what? Damn, bitch, it's like three weeks over to you. I already had some woman suck my dick last week. Do not accept <laughs> woman gonna schedule your dick for a sucking. I mean, you are the one who are gonna, who's scheduling your dick. I mean, that's that's the commitment when a woman is in a relationship. How is, how is she gonna schedule your dick for, for some kind of treatment? I mean, it's not her dick. I mean, she needs to be available. And now she's checking, like she's talking to you like, I'm keeping up the schedule and now it's time for you to get sucked. Now that's, that's, that's definitely girls on your soul. She's gonna get into your brain, your soul. Situation number two, this type of woman, you, it's not the type of woman, the situation with this type of woman could get into, is that you know when this woman is sucking your dick, it's like, ah, I'm sucking your dick, I'm sucking your dick. Great, great, you're like, uh, okay, great. And then she's like, what? I thought you were sucking my dick. Please do one thing at the same time. You can't do two things at the same time. Tell her. I mean, this is the moment when this woman is just, you're on your dick and you're like, like, I can bite it off, you know, or they're like, you know, I can suck your leg uh, more if you do what I want. I mean, this is the moment they're trying to control the joystick. You tell them, this is a fucking opportunity for you to prove that you love me. Just keep sucking and shut up. Situation number three. Situation number three is this woman who are like constantly like, oh, honey, uh, I need the phone. I need your phone. Why do you need my phone? Yeah, I want to I wanna call somebody. You mean you want to call somebody? You got your own goddamn phone. No, I need to. No, I just want to check your phone. That's the moment when they're like getting into your privacy. There's a lot of guys like, oh, yeah, you can check my phone. I mean, yeah, it's nothing special on my phone. Uh, 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 even guys like, oh, yeah, uh, honey, here's my phone. You want to, you can check it for today. <laughs> Jesus, okay, great. So this is when they get into your soul. This is when they get in your phone. This is when they get in your privacy. This is where they go through your pictures. They're not gonna like repair your phone like, oh honey, you need the latest Android or iPhone update. Let me do it for you. I'm gonna organize you for I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed it up. No, they're just gonna go through your pictures and stuff like it's a newspaper and like looking and searching and getting more into your brain, finding a way into your soul so they can like control you like a fucking Muppet. That's where you want to kick them out. Like, what the fuck are you doing with my phone? It's fucking my phone. Why do you think I bought a phone? Because it's my phone. Damn. Number four. This woman who trying to get into your soul. When you are with, with a woman, you're like, you have this moment, this awkward moment, they want to hold hands. <laughs> I want to hold your hand. You're like, why do you want to hold my hand, man? We're, we're just at home. <laughs> Man, stop it. If this shit ever happens to you, these awkward situations, and they are like, they want to hold hands, and they want to, you know, they want to, I don't know, they want to hold your hand, <laughs> you know. It has to have some kind of a reason, like, maybe it's freezing, and you want her to warm your hand up, or, you know, there's some reason, or maybe you need to hold her hand, because otherwise she falls off a cliff or something, you know, hold my hand. But just holding hands, because of the holding hands, man, they're like on to your fucking soul. If you, if you, if you ever have been in this kind of situation, don't do it. It's, man, don't, don't do it. Like, why? And like, yeah, I like it. I mean, that's where you say, I don't like it. So you're like, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> just suck my dick and shut up, you know. 
whatever man then we got the last one the latest one and that is that you ever been like and there's a lot of more situations if you got funny situations women who are onto your soul and trying to you know to get closer into your brain i mean a relationship works properly they don't have to go into your brain all the time it's unnecessary man it's not like you're looking for a new mom or something it's just it's a relationship it's not like becoming one person I man if you really want to do your stuff you need to be you need to stay your own person situation number five is that you ever been on a date with a woman and then you are really like not not so sure if it's really gonna you know a follow up I mean she was a bit awkward this stuff happened maybe on a date and then you contact her after a date and then she doesn't respond you don't hear anything or she's just like short responses and not really responding within two days or not even in a week you know it's like awkward you know definitely she was onto your soul a lot of guys would say like uh, she didn't like me no she couldn't get close to the soul fast enough they're like women who are really trying to get into your soul not not when they're stuck in your lake and like looking at you or like honey i'm sucking your dick tonight not even like that and not even like offering something on the first date they're trying to get in your soul because i don't know because they're short they're out of time they're really on a short leash and they're like oh i couldn't get in his soul so i'm gonna give it up and that's the reason man that's the reason they were already with you on the date you passed the visual test you passed the social test you passed a lot of tests and now they're like into how deep how fast can i get into his soul and you just failed the test i mean you you don't want to you don't want to complete the test you want to fail the test because it's 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 not a test you don't want to you don't want to apply for this test it's definitely something you do with i couldn't get any so fast enough so then i i know i'm not gonna have any kids this year with this guy that's <laughs> seriously or yeah and yeah, my girlfriends all have kids and and then uh, i don't have any kids so wasting my time with this guy or maybe you feel another test like he's not gonna drive me around like i'm some kind of a princess or and he's not paying enough or, or my, he doesn't have a house and i couldn't have any kids in that house this is something like or, or like yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck it guys you get the point man nothing to do with all that bullshit crap that you might doubt yourself like i'm not good enough or it's not, nothing to do with that you're good enough man i've seen the ugliest guys the oldest guys with attractive women because they were just supplying they supply house they supply food they supply shelter they supply toilet they supply makeup they, su they don't have to work they don't have to do anything the older the guy is they don't have to fuck a lot then they have uh, they can be like looking like oh look at me look at me look at me i mean i'm not i'm not i'm not against this i mean if women are attractive they can get a lot they can get away with it but you don't want to become a victim of this bullshit that's what i'm trying to say okay guys i hope you enjoyed the show <laughs> i'll see you guys next episode so these were the five situations you could recognize women who are into your soul